Hi. Hi. So what we have here is this product by Pixie Wu. It is a collab that It's Judy Time did. She is a YouTuber, vlogger, and a beauty enthusiast. She's actually one of the first ones that I started watching on YouTube. It was her, Iman Makeup, Michelle Phan, and that's all. Um, the first video that I watched from her channel was how to lighten your underarms because my underarms used to be really dark. I typed it in and she popped up on there. So ever since then, I've been watching her. She lives in Seattle. I'm from that area. So um, I started watching her ever since and she, I can't believe it. She came out with a palette. It was a collab with Pixie Woo and here are the colors. The names of the colors are named after like sayings that she has at home. She's got, oh, snap, because she always says, oh, snap. Good morning, this one right here is good morning. Honey bear, it's mommy's life. Snowflake, I used snowflake as a, uh, as a highlighter. So if you would like to see my thoughts and this makeup application here, then um, just keep watching. If you keep watching the video, you will see that I did incorporate some of these colors as like, contour, highlight, all of that. This is like a multi-use product. So congrats to It's Judy Time on your collab with Pixie Woo. And that is awesome that makeup brands, companies are, you know, collabing with famous beauty enthusiasts. So that's awesome. Congrats, girl. Anyways, if you want to see how I complete this look, then just stay tuned. Hey. Are you guys ready to see my full face routine? I'm gonna start out with Max Prep and Prime as my primer. And um, I'm just gonna put that on so that while I'm doing my eyes, it can settle in. And I just normally put it where I get oily. And we all know what primer for the lids that I use. I haven't changed it up much besides this and Max lid primer, but I'm gonna use Soft Ochre. My first thoughts when I saw this was, holy cow, these colors are a dream in a palette because I love transition colors and there's lots of different transition colors so I'm excited to try these out. I'm gonna go in with this color first and this color is Honey Bear. <laughs> Honey Bear, that's like what she calls her husband I think. I'm going in with this big transition brush. This is the MAC 224. This has quickly become one of my favorite brushes. I could spend forever blending. I'm going to do a natural eye color and a bold lip. I think that's what's trending. 2017 makeup hashtag. I'm going to go in with this color right here. I think this was one of her favorite colors. This one and this one I think are her favorite colors. This color is Good Morning. <laughs> if you don't watch her vlogs, then you have no idea like what the names of these colors mean, but good morning is um, at the beginning of every vlog. She says, good morning. This is a nice color. Okay, good morning. I'm gonna try to use some of these colors as a contour too, just because some of these colors are looking pretty cool to contour with. I'm gonna take this beat up 226 brush by MAC and this color is pink. Pink? What's pink? Maybe it's a Filipino thing. I don't know what pink is. I'm gonna put this on the corner of my lid. And this is a nice color. Mm -mm. Okay, pink. What is pink? Pink, pink, pink. Oh my gosh, pink is, it's gotta be when her husband does like thumbs up and then her daughters, cause she's a mother also, she's got three girls, a set of twins, and she does ping. So when they put their thumbs up, that's probably what it is. Ah, that's funny. I really like these colors. They're coming on really nice. They're not dusty. They're not patchy. I like that. Okay. Taking these two colors, I'm gonna mix and I'm gonna put those on my outer crease. Just a little darkness won't hurt, will it? I was wondering when I saw the palette through the box, I saw these two darker colors and I was kind of curious like why is there two darker colors but this is more of a warm tone and this is more of a cooler tone. This one you could probably use for your brows and this is a really nice black shade. And it's got some little shimmer sparkles and that color is called dark chocolate. I'll swatch 2-2. Ooh. 
Tutu is a really pretty color. This color reminds me of Satin Taupe. This one is her favorite color, and this one is called Getaway. Aha! Uh -huh. I'm a mother too, and we all need those getaway moments. I need one right about now. This color right here is Bubbly. I'll show you on the back of my hand to show you how nice the color payoff is. Wow. And do keep in mind that I do have lots of lights here, so it is kind of washing it out a little bit. But these colors are really nice. I picked this color brick right here. Brick. I don't know what brick would mean. And I'll pack that color all over. She also came out with a lip palette. I think her lip palette is called It's Lip Time. I, I was like, oh, which one should I get? Either or. For my inner part of my lid, I'll probably do her favorite color, which is this color right here. And this color is called Getaway. It's pretty hard to decide if you want to purchase the product or not because, you know, <laughs> I, I'm not the richest out here in the world, although I wish I was, but I'm not, I'm not super rich, so I have to definitely choose wisely at what I do buy as far as collabs with YouTubers and makeup brands. And she did a look on this color when she introduced her palette. I'm going to try to use this color as a highlight. This one is called It's Mommy's Life. <laughs> I'm going to mix Good Morning and Ping. I'm going to apply some of that underneath. We're going to step away from the palette and we're going to start on my face. I have, I feel like the Pepper Prime has settled in. Go in with this color. This is Studio Water Weight Foundation SPF 30 by MAC. It's like a good little dropper. And what I normally do is I'll just place it on the outer parts of my face and then apply the concealer. Where the concealing area is on my face, I'll leave that open for the concealer because I don't want to put too much product on my face. This is Pro Long Wear Concealer by MAC and the color is NC42. And also the bridge of my nose. A trick to kind of give your eyebrows that soft looking effect is to take some of the concealer and brush it in the beginning. I'm going to take my damp beauty blender. I'm just going to blend the concealer in with my actual foundation, but I'm not going to touch this part yet. So guess what? I am licensed esthetician now, so I'm so excited. Uh, the only thing is I moved, and so uh, when you move, different states require more or less hours, and unfortunately this state requires more hours, so I have to find out here soon if I have to complete the rest of my hours, which I hope I don't because, I mean, I've already got my license. I'm done, so I don't want to go back to school and finish the hours, so we'll see how that will work. Now I'm going to go in with the pointier side of my beauty blender and go a little lighter. For the new technique that I learned as far as the under eyes, I saw a video on Facebook. You know those little short clips of videos that they have on Facebook? Well, I saw someone doing this and what they did was they took like one shade lighter than your actual skin tone. So I used NC42 concealer and then take your beauty blender and it's damp. So you're not baking. Take it and just press. Okay, so now I'm gonna try to contour with one of these colors. Let's see how it works. I'm gonna dip my brush back into Ping, which is this color right here. And this is just one of my favorite rabbit foot brushes. Ooh, uh-oh. Looks like this is gonna be my new contour color. Wow, and look at that. It's not even patchy or anything. The formula of this palette is really good. Holy cow. Oh, oh, I'm so excited. Wow, that is just amazing. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm not going to brush it away. I'm just going to press it. You can use this as an eyeshadow palette, contour, kit, 
and a highlighter because I'm about to use It's Mommy's Life as a highlighter. Ooh, ooh. Okay, sorry. So the highlighter, I'm going to use my 224 brush and then just spray my brush a little bit. Dip it into the highlighter. Wow. For the cheeks, I have moved the placement of where I apply the highlighter. I don't apply it right here anymore just because it will show your wrinkles more and I'm getting old so I'm not trying to have my wrinkles show. So I've moved it to this spot right here. Ooh, this is pretty. Oh yeah. I normally use Champagne Pop as my highlighter, but if I'm gonna be downsizing my travel kit, which we all know how that can get, uh, this palette is great for that. You know, if you want, you don't even need to add a pop of color. You know, use your own discretion. So if you feel like this is too much, then just put lip gloss on and then call it a day. But if you wanna be more fierce, then go in with that bold color because the eyes is not too bad. And I'm not gonna put liner on my eyes because this is a daytime look. Oh. Don't forget to apply your mascara and your false lashes. I wanna kind of darken my eyes just a little bit, just a little bit. So I'm gonna go in with this color, this color Night Night. Ah! I'm just gonna take it on the tip, just the tip. <laughs> I'm gonna go in with dark chocolate and I'm gonna put it on the top of my lid just to kind of smoke it. I'm gonna tight line. Highlighter. This is one of my favorite highlighters and I'm just going to put that. Finally, one more step, which is the lipstick. For today's lipstick choice, I kind of am using pinks. I'm so tired of like the reds and the nudes and the mauves and stuff so I wanted to, I haven't seen pink lipstick around and I'm kind of in the mood for some pink. So here we have Flat Out Fabulous. We've got Beat Lip Liner by MAC. We have Madison Liquid Lipstick by Anastasia Beverly Hills. I like it. I like the pink lipstick. Um, I hope my little techniques that I have learned will help you if you're struggling at any makeup issues that you may have. So yeah, thank you so much for watching. Have a great day. Bye. Day. It is a few hours later. It's like six o'clock in the evening. I don't know if you could tell from before and now, I did apply some black liner on my lower lash line to give it, I guess, an evening look. I didn't put any on the top line, I just kind of want to leave it nice and subtle. And um, so here's like my evening look with its Judy Times palette. But you could take this color dark chocolate and probably put it up, up along here just to darken the look a little bit. Here is the look that I came up with with her palette. Super pretty and I love this palette. This is gonna be my new like must have and always with me palette. So uh, uh, yeah, thank you so much for watching this video and have a great day, bye. Hello everyone. Ugh. I don't know about you. So congratulations to all of the booty booty.